Good morning, and how are you doing today? I hope you're having a splendid day. Today, I am going to take you to see around Belogradchik starting with a fort amongst those amazing rock formations on the hill. So, let's go and enjoy this beautiful day. It's sunny again, blue sky. It's getting hot already and I'm up early so I don't get too toasted. Ooh, hope I brought my hat. Come on, let's go. Ticket for one. Una persona. by the Romans in about 3 AD. But the fort in its current state at the moment, I think was built in about the 11th century. And it's naturally built between these pillars and rocks on a commanding hill with fantastic views. So a very good bit of protective architecture. And when you climb up to the top, look at the view you get. <laughs> minute ride from, where am I? Belogradchek, that's it, about 20 minute drive from Belogradchek, where the fortress is, you will find this cave. This is Venetza Cave. Now this hasn't been open that long, maybe two years. But, uh, just drove here, you, there's no public transport here, so if you want to get here you either have to have your own car or talk to accommodation about renting a taxi in town. It's not that expensive I've heard, I think about 15 euros for a taxi to get, take you there, wait and take you back. But I'll see if I can find any more info on that. Anyway, apparently it's very fascinating. It uh, Obviously this northern uh, Bulgaria is the place to see caves. We went saw a cave yesterday. Oh, that's great, what was that day before? Anyway, we've seen one cave. Now we'll have a check out two caves hopefully today. This is the first one, this is the, the newer opened one and the less visited one. There was only three other cars in the car park, which is just down there. And you've got about a 200 meter. What the? <laughs> My phone just went bananas there. Anyway, <laughs> um, park the car park. And then it's about a 200 meter walk through a sort of leafy avenue and a very good road, tar path. Hopefully, I can see a building ahead to the entrance. Yeah, this looks like an entrance. Oh, lots of things in languages I don't understand. Let's go in and hope they understand me. Oh. This looks like a place to pay. Good afternoon. That one for uh, no, maybe not. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Вот так 
15 часа ще влезнете до. Сега почивам. Wait here. Да, там. Oh, that at the time. 15 часа ще влезете. А. Three. Wait. Yes, yes. Okay. Сега има хора. And for ticket? Or pay at three. Eight. Okay. I buy the ticket now. Thank you. Mercy. Now it appears the tours go in groups at certain times. So she wasn't showing me, she showed me the piece of paper, she was actually telling me the time, which is 1500 hours, three o'clock, and then the next group go down. So I paid my fee and got my ticket. It was eight lev, which is about four euro. And I've got about half an hour to chill before we go down into the caves. Now ice cream, I thought I saw ice cream. Well, at least I saw cold drinks. And it's a beautiful place to wait. was Vanessa K, which is amazing. They've put lots of lights in there that keep changing colors to change the mood. And a guide goes down with you. I think during the working hours, which I'm not quite sure what they are, I think they finish at five. I got that much, I'm not sure what time they start in the morning, so sorry about that. Um, they go on the hour, every hour, and the tour takes about 30 to 40 minutes. So a guide comes with you, you get a hard hat, which is essential. I still clobbered my head through the hard hat, thankfully many times because you go through some narrow passages, you go down under some arches. It's nothing really that claustrophobic, although it's hmm, oh, underground. Um, but it's very beautiful and quite amazing. Unfortunately the guide and all the other people there were Bulgarian, so and she didn't speak English. So I had no idea what was going on, pointed to various things, so I sort of made it up as I go along. But yeah, stalactites, stalagmites, pretty things, drippy things, bat holes, bat homes. Uh, different shapes, different sizes, lots of cave, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> but it was great, it was really nice, and it was incredibly cold in there again. Um, I'm not used to that, I'm used to going in a lot of caves. I, I suppose it's a combination of having lots of bats living in them normally, and there wasn't that many bats in the sections of the cave we went to. And a lot of the caves I've been to, like in the Philippines and in Thailand, they've had the Indian Ocean water coming up under them, which creates a very humid, warm atmosphere there, it was actually pleasantly cold, slightly damp feeling. In fact, one or two of the people who went in with t-shirts and shorts were pulling on long sleeves and trousers because it was that, I wouldn't say cold, cool. <laughs> um, I found it very pleasant. It was quite nice in there. I hope the photographs did it justice um, to give you some idea of what it's like. <laughs> 